Hey guys, welcome back to the next part of the Minecraft Pixel Art tutorial series for the Black Panther. Remember, if you become a channel member today, you'll gain early access to the other brand new Pixel Art tutorial parts that I'm working on. And if you want to get into contact with me, the best way to do so is through my Discord. I'm going to be leaving a link down below in the description. And if you're a channel member, you also get the channel member role within my Discord. Make sure to check out my social medias, TikTok, Instagram. I'll leave those links down below in the description as well. Alright, so let's start off with uh, the black wool and the black concrete. Alright, so starting off with the black wool, let's go all the way down here. Down here to the chin outline. And we're going to go ahead and find these two black concretes that we have here going across. We're going to start on top of the right block of these two right here with the black wool. You're going to be placing three blocks going diagonal up to the right. So that's one, two, three. And once you've done that, what you're going to be doing next is placing or switching over, I should say, to the black concrete. And now with the black concrete starting on top of this black wall right here, we're just going to be placing one black concrete. So that's one. Now, once you have that black concrete there, what you're going to be doing next from here is placing two blocks going up on the right. That's one, two. And now you're going to be placing six black concretes going up on the right. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Once you've done that, you're going to be placing two sets of threes going up on the left. So that's one, two, three, one, and one, two, three, two. Let's get rid of those placement blocks. All right. So continuing on with the black concrete, we're going to be placing two sets of threes going up on the right. Two sets of threes. So that's one, two, three, one, and one, two, three, two. Going up on the right. So let's go ahead and get rid of those placements. Once you've done that, you're going to be placing four blocks going up on the right. That's one, two, three, four. And now you're going to be placing two sets of threes going up on the right. That's one, two, three, one, and one, two, three, two. Let's go ahead and get rid of those placements. Head back up here. And from here, we're going to be placing two blocks going up on the right. That's one, two. And now place three blocks going up on the right. That's one, two, three. And now from here, we're going to be placing three sets of twos going up on the right. So that's one, two, one, one, two, two, and one, two, three. Let's go ahead and get rid of those placements. And back up here. And from here, we're going to be placing two blocks going diagonal up to the right. So that's one and two. And now we're going to be placing two sets of twos going up on the right. So that's one, two, one, and one, two, two. Let's get rid of this placement. And once we've done that, what we're going to be doing next is we're going to start from the bottom block of these two. So going to this block here, we're going to be placing six blocks going down on the right. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. For the placement block. Now once you've done that, you're going to be placing two blocks going down on the right. So that's one, two. And now from this block, we're going to be placing five sets of twos going down on the left. Five sets of twos. So that's one, two, one, one, two, two, one, two, three, one, two, four, and one, two, five. Let's go ahead and get rid of those placements. Head back down. And now from here, we're going to be placing six blocks going down on the left. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Once you've done that, you're going to be placing five blocks going down on the left. So that's one, two, three, four, five. And now from here, we're going to be placing three blocks going down on the left. That's one, two, and three. Let's get rid of that placement block. And now that we have that, what we're going to do next is we're going to move back up here. And we're going to, let's see, we're going to actually move down here. Let's go to these four black concretes. 
the ones that we just connected to with these three that we just placed. So going to these four right here, we're going to start from the top block of it. So starting from this block, we're going to be placing one block going up to the left. So that's one. Now from here, we're going to be placing two sets of twos going up on the left. So that's one, two, one, and one, two, two. Now, once you've done that, let's get rid of those placement blocks. And from here, we'll be left off. We're going to move over here to the left a bit and move to these three black concretes. These three right here. Starting from the middle block on the right side, so starting from right here, we're going to be placing four blocks going diagonal up to the right. So that's one, two, three, and four. Let's get rid of those placement blocks. I'll fly back a bit so you can see that it should look exactly like this. Set back up. Now from here, we're going to be placing two blocks going up on the right. That's one, two. And now place two blocks going diagonal up to the right. So that's one and two. Again, I'll fly back a bit so you can see that it should look exactly like this. All right. So what we're going to do next from here is just move down and let's go all the way back to where we started. Let's go to these six black concretes that we placed. We're going to switch over to the placement block, starting from the top block of these six on the right side. So starting from here, we're going to be adding two placement blocks going down. So that's one, two. Switch over to the black concrete, starting underneath the placement. So from here, we're going to be adding three blocks going diagonal up to the right. So that's one, two and three and three there we go so that's three blocks get rid of those placements i'll fly back a bit so you can see that it should look exactly like this okay so once we've done that what we're going to be doing next is we're going to move up here going all the way back up here let's go back to the six blocks right here that we placed going down the right from these two blocks so starting from these six right here, we're going to start from the top block of these six. So starting from this block, we're going to be placing two blocks going up on the right. So that's one, two. So it looks like that. And now starting from the bottom block of these two, so starting from here, we're going to be placing six blocks going down on the right. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Head up, get rid of that placement block, head back down. And now from here, from the bottom block on the right side, so from here of the six right here, we're going to be adding two blocks going to the right. So that's one and two. So it should look like this. So once you've done that, starting from this block, we're going to be placing two blocks going diagonal up to the right. So that's one and two. Next, you're going to be placing three sets of twos going up on the right. Three sets of twos. So that's one, two, one, one, two, two, and one, two, three. Go those placements. Head up. And now place one block going up to the right. That's one. I'll fly back a bit so you can see that it should look exactly like this. Now what we're going to do next is we're going to move back over here, back to where we added those two blocks going across from the bottom block of these six. So going back to this right here, kind of this L shape, we're going to start from the right block of these blocks here that are going across, starting underneath it, uh, underneath the right, we're going to be adding just one placement block, so that's one. Switch over to the black concrete and add one black concrete underneath the placement, so that's one. Now get rid of the placement block. And now, starting from this one black concrete, what we're going to be doing from here is placing two blocks going down on the left. So that's one, two. Now, once you've done that, what you're going to be doing next is placing from here uh, another two blocks going down on the left. So that's one, two. And now from the bottom block of these two that we just placed, starting on the right side, we're going to be adding one black concrete. So that's one. And it should look like this, an L shape. All right, now going back over here, back to this block. Starting from here, we're going to be placing two sets of threes going down on the left. 
So that's one, two, three, that's one. And one, two, three, that's two. Get rid of those placements. Head back down here. And now from here, we're going to be placing three sets of twos going down on the left. So that's one, two, one, one, two, two, and one, two, three. Let's get rid of those placement blocks. Head back down here. And from here, we're just going to be placing three blocks going down on the left. So that's one, two, three. Get rid of the placement blocks. I'll fly back a bit. So you can see that everything should look exactly like this so far. Go ahead and pause the video now if you need to, just to compare. All right, so let's get back up here. Um, and let's do, actually, you know what? We're gonna leave the outlining for a little bit later. What we're gonna do is work on filling in this, uh, all these empty spaces that we just created before we get too, too ahead of ourselves. So let's start all the way down here, starting from the very, very bottom, this one single space right here. So we're going to be needing the gray colors now. So let's put away the black concrete. We're not going to be doing outlines uh, for now. So let's just switch. In fact, just have all the grays. You can go ahead and fit almost every single uh, block, uh, every shade of gray and white that you can uh, fit in your inventory because we're going to be using them all. So starting off with this empty space, we're going to switch over to the gray concrete and just fill in this one spot here with the gray concrete. Fill that in. Now, once you've done that, starting from this one block, we're just going to be placing another gray concrete going up to the right from it. So that's one. Next, you're going to switch over to the black wool, add one black wool on top of the gray concrete, and then add one black wool going up to the right. That's one. Once you've done that, switch over to the gray concrete and fill in these two empty spaces that are above the two black wools here with the two gray concrete. So fill this and this with the gray concrete. Next, you're going to switch over to the sign terracotta and fill in this empty space right here with the sign terracotta. Fill that in. And once you've done that, you're going to switch over to the gray concrete. Now, moving over here to the top block of these six black concretes, on top of it, you're going to be adding one gray concrete. So that's one. Then from here, you're going to be placing one gray concrete going down to the right. So that's one. And once you've done that, what you're going to be doing it next from here is you're going to switch over to the black wool. And with the black wool, starting from this gray concrete, you're going to be placing one black wool going up to the right. So that's one. And now from this one block, you're going to be placing one black wool going up to the left. And that's one. Once you've done that, you're going to switch back over to the gray concrete, and from here we're going to be placing two blocks going diagonal up to the left. So two diagonal up to the left, that's one and two. And now that you've done that, what you're going to be doing next is we're going to move back down here. Let's go back to this black concrete down here. We're going to be placing one gray concrete going uh, up on the right. So, whoops, so that's one. And now from this one block, we're going to be placing one block going up to the left. That's one. Once you've done that, switch back over to the black wall. Starting from this block, this uh, concrete, we're going to be placing one black wall going up to the right. That's one. And from this one black wall, we're going to be placing another black wall going down to the right. So that's one. Once you've done that, switch over to the gray concrete, starting from this black wool up here, this one. We're going to be placing one gray concrete going up to the right. So that's one. Fly back a bit so you can see that everything should look exactly like this. So what we're going to be doing next is we're going to switch over to the cyan terracotta. And with the cyan terracotta, we're going to move over here to the left. This empty space that's right here, just this spot right here that I'm pointing at, just this one spot, you're going to fill this in with the cyan terracotta. Let's fill that in. Now, once you've done that, you're going to be switching over to the uh, light, light gray um, concrete. Not, not light gray concrete. Sorry, light gray wool. You're going to be switching over to the light gray wool. And with the light gray wool, you're going to be filling in these empty spaces right here with the light gray wool. So let's go ahead and fill those in with the light gray wool. 
So it should look like this. All right, so now that we have that, what we're going to be doing next is switching over to the black wool. And with the black wool, we're gonna to move to this gray concrete right here. We're gonna be placing two black wools going diagonal up to the left from it. So that's one and two. Then you're gonna switch over to the gray concrete and place one block going up to the left. That's one. Let's go ahead and get rid of the placement block. And once we've done that, what we're going to be doing next from here is we're going to switch back over to the, actually we're gonna stay with the, no, we're gonna switch back over, sorry. We're gonna switch back over to the black wall. Starting from this block, we're gonna be placing one black concrete going up to the right. So that's one. Then you're gonna switch over back to the gray concrete. Starting from here, we're gonna be placing two blocks going diagonal down to the right. So that's one and two. Next, you're gonna switch over to the black wool. Starting from here, we're gonna be placing one black wool going up to the right. So that's one. Then you're gonna be placing one black wool going up to the left. That's one. Next, switch back over to the gray concrete. Starting from here, we're gonna be placing one gray concrete going up to the left. That's one. Switch back over to the black wool and place one black wool going up to the left. That's one. Then switch back over to the gray concrete and place one gray concrete going up to the right. That's one. I'll fly back a bit so you can see that it should look exactly like this. So now you're going to switch back over to the cyan terracotta. And with the cyan terracotta, just these empty spaces right here. Not, not that empty space up there, just these spaces here. Get filled in with the cyan terracotta. So let's fill those in. And there we go. Fly back a bit so you can see that it should look exactly like this. Okay, so now what we're going to be doing next is let's switch over to the uh, let's switch over to the gray concrete. Let's move up here. We're gonna fill that one spot right here with the gray concrete. Just fill that in. And once you've done that, we're gonna move to this. We're gonna move one block over. We're gonna move to this one black concrete. So starting from here, we're gonna be placing four uh four gray concretes going up so that's one two three four next you're going to be placing one gray wool switch over to the gray wool one gray wool going up to the right so that's one switch back over to the gray concrete add two gray concretes going up that's one two switch back over to the gray wool place one gray wool going up to the right that's one switch back to the gray concrete two gray concretes going up that's one two switch back over to the gray wall one gray wall going up to the right that's one switch back to the gray concrete add one gray concrete on top that's one switch back over to the gray wall add one gray wall going up to the right that's one switch back over to the gray concrete add two gray concretes going up that's one and two switch back over to the gray wall place one gray wall going up to the right that's one. Switch back over to the gray concrete. Add one gray concrete. That's one. Now place one gray wool going up to the right. That's one. And now place one gray concrete on top. That's one. Switch back over to the gray wool. One gray wool going up to the right. That's one. Switch back to the gray concrete. Add one gray concrete on top. That's one. And then just from here, we're going to be adding just one more gray concrete going up to the right at one fly back a bit so you can see that everything should look exactly like this so far go ahead and pause the video now if you need to just to compare so now from here let's move up and we're going to move back to these two we're still working in this empty space right here we're just going to move to the very top of this empty space and it's going to be underneath these two black concretes so for this next part you're going to be switching over to the white concrete and you're going to be adding one white concrete underneath this black wall, or I should say underneath this black concrete. So that's one white concrete. Then switch over to the light gray wall, add one light gray wall underneath. That's one. And then once you've done that, let me just switch a few blocks around to, to make this a lot easier for myself. Okay, so now what we're after we place this light gray wall, you're going to switch over to the light gray concrete 
and starting underneath it. So from here, what you're going to be doing is placing four sets of twos starting underneath it, four sets of twos going down on the left. So that's one, two, one, one, two, two, one, two, three, and one, two, four. That's four sets of twos. So it should look like this. Let's go ahead and get rid of those placements. So now what we're going to be doing next is placing three sets of threes going down on the left. So that's one, two, three, one, one, two, three, two, and one, two, three, three. That's three sets of threes. Okay, so that's three sets of threes. Now let's head back down here, and now from here we're going to be placing two sets of twos going down on the left. So that's one, two, one, and one, two, two. Get the placement. And now from here we're going to be switching over to the white concrete. And now with the white concrete, we're going to move to these six black concretes. Find these six right here. Okay, these six black concretes. Starting on top of it, so from here, all we're going to be doing is just tracing the outline of this black concrete going all the way up, and we're going to stop underneath those other six black concretes. So just trace the outline with the white concrete, starting from here. Just trace the outline. There you go. So it should look exactly like this. Go ahead and pause the video now if you need to, just to compare. Very simple, very easy. Okay, so now for the next part, we're going to switch over to the... We're going to be needing the both the cyan terracotta and the light gray wool. Now, looking at the cyan... Or not the cyan, sorry. Looking at the light gray concrete. You see this right here? The light gray concrete. Everything, all the empty spaces that are on the left side, the left side of the light gray concrete, you're going to go ahead and fill those in with the cyan terracotta and all the empty spaces that are on the right side of this light gray concrete outline, uh, these empty spaces to the right are going to get filled in with the light gray wool. So go ahead and do that now. So on the left side, just cyan terracotta. And once you fill that in, you're going to switch over to the light gray wool. And we're going to be filling in the empty spaces to the right side of the outline with the light gray wool. And there we go. So fly back a bit so you can see that it should look exactly like this. Go ahead and pause the video now if you need to just compare. Alright, so let's head back up here because we already have it in our hand. This empty space right here, you can go ahead and fill this empty space here with the light gray wool. Fill that up. So it looks like that. Okay, so now let's head back, uh, let's go back down here. We're going to have to work on just one more area that's going to require us to do those, that little annoying uh, check, checkerboard pattern thing. So starting from this area, let's start at the very bottom of this empty space, this, this empty space right here. Uh, actually, let's go down here. Uh, with the light gray wool, just fill in this empty space here with the light gray wool to avoid any confusion. Just fill that spot with the light gray wool, okay? All right, so now... Let's switch over to the gray concrete. And in fact, let me go ahead and get a little organized here. Put these blocks in order. Okay. So starting on top of these four black concretes, basically the uh, the bottom spot of this empty space, put, place one uh, gray concrete. That's one gray concrete. Switch over to the black wool, add one black wool on top. That's one. Switch over to the gray concrete, add one gray concrete going up to the left. That's one. Back to the black wool, add one black wool on top. That's one. Back to the gray concrete. Add one gray concrete going up to the left. That's one. Back to the black wool. Add one black wool on top. That's one black wool. Switch back to the gray concrete and place one gray concrete going up to the right. So that's one. And place one black wool on top of the gray concrete. That's one. Once you've done that, go back down to this uh, gray concrete right here. And we're going to be placing one black wool going down to the right. So that's one. Switch back to the gray concrete. Add one gray concrete underneath it. That's one. 
Switch back to the black wall, add one black wall going down to the right. That's one. Now once you've done that, let's head back to this black wall, this one right here. And from here, you're going to switch back over to the gray concrete. Place one gray concrete going up to the right. That's one. Switch back to the black wall, add one black wall on top of the gray concrete. That's one. Switch back over to the gray concrete, and from here, you're going to be placing one gray concrete going up to the left. That's one. And going back to this same black wall here, this time we're going to be placing one gray concrete going up to the right. That's one. So it should look like that. Switch back over to the black wall, add one black wall on top of the gray concrete. That's one. Switch back to the gray concrete, place one gray concrete going up to the left. That's one. And then switch back to the black wall, place one black wall going up to the right. That's one. I'll fly back a bit so you can see that it should look exactly like this. Now, not all of these empty spaces are going to get filled in with the same block, so uh, we're going to have to go slow here. So first, you're going to be switching over to the cyan terracotta. Now, with the cyan terracotta, we're going to move all the way over here to the left, to the furthest empty space over here to the left. This spot right here, you're going to be filling that in with the cyan terracotta. So fill this in. And then you're going to move up to the right, and this empty space right here also gets filled in with the sign terracotta. Fill that in. And now from here down to the right, this empty space right here gets filled in with the sign terracotta. So fill that in. And once you've done that, down here to the left, this empty spot gets filled in with the sign terracotta. So fill this in. Okay, so it should look like that. Now we still have some empty spaces, and these empty spaces are going to get filled in with the light gray concrete. So go ahead and switch over to the light gray concrete, and fill in these remaining empty spaces here with the light gray concrete. Let's fill those in. And again, I'll fly back a bit so you can see that it should look exactly like this. So what we're going to be doing next now is we're going to move over here to, to this next part. And we're going to switch over to the cyan terracotta. Now with the cyan terracotta, we're going to start down here at this empty space on top of this one black concrete. So starting from here, with the cyan terracotta, you're going to be placing two sets of twos going up on the right. So that's one, two, one, and one, two, two. So it should look like this. Once you've done that, switch over to the light gray wool. And you're going to be filling in these two empty spaces here with the light gray wool. So fill this in. And once you've done that, you're going to go ahead and switch over to the sign terracotta again. Move over here to the right, starting on top of these two black concretes. So starting from here, you're going to be placing... Uh, well, actually, you're not going to need to be counting. This is going to be very simple. Starting from here, you're just going to be tracing the outline of this black concrete, going all the way up to the right, just tracing this outline. And you're going to stop underneath the left block of these two black concretes going across. So let's go back down here. Starting from here, just trace the outline with the cyan terracotta. Like this. Very simple, very easy. There you go, just tracing the outline. And we're going to stop right there underneath these two black concretes that are going across. I'll fly back a bit so you can see that it should look exactly like this. Now, once you've done that, you're going to go ahead and switch over to the gray wool. And with the gray wool, we're going to be filling in those empty spaces to the right of the cyan terracotta that we just placed. So these empty spaces just right here. Fill these in with the gray wool. There we go. Again, I'll fly back so you can see that it should look like this. Now we're going to switch back over to the sign terracotta. Let's go back over here. Let's go back to this L shape to where we stopped underneath it when we were tracing. On top of this black concrete, we're going to be placing one sign terracotta. So that's one. Then you're going to be placing two blocks going up on the right with sign terracotta. So that's one, two. And now from here, you're going to be placing three blocks going diagonal up to the right. So that's one, two, three. And once you've done that, you're going to switch back over to the gray wall, and you're going to be filling in these three empty spaces here with the gray wall. So go ahead and fill those in with gray. Okay, I'll fly back a bit so you can see that it should look exactly like this. And now for this next part, we're going to switch over to the 
white concrete and with the white concrete we're going to move up here to the right you see we that we have one last empty space to fill in so we're going to move all the way up here to the right to the very top of the empty space starting underneath this black concrete so starting from here we're going to be adding three sets of twos going down on the left three sets of twos down on the left so that's one two one one two two and one two three Next, you're going to be placing three blocks going diagonal down to the left. So that's one, two, three. And now we're going to switch over to the light gray wool. And with the light gray wool, you're going to be placing two blocks going across on the lower level to the left. So that's one, two, three. So that's three blocks. Did I say two? <laughs> I meant to say three. So that's three light gray walls going across on the lower level to the left. So it should look like that. Okay. So now we're going to switch over to the light gray concrete. And with the light gray concrete, we're going to be filling in these empty spaces here that we left behind. Just these empty spaces, fill that in with the light gray concrete. Fill that up. Fly back a bit now. And now from uh, going back to these three light gray walls, we're going to switch back over to the light gray or we're going to be switching back over to the white concrete and starting underneath these two here we're just going to be placing two white concretes going across underneath it so that's one two once you've done that you're going to be placing two white concretes going down on the left that's one two next you're going to be placing one white wool white wool going down on the left so that's one white wool and then you're going to be placing a white concrete underneath it and we're going to be continuing this pattern so just follow along and one white wool down to the left, one concrete, one white wool, one concrete. Okay, you're following along? I don't want to lose you. So I'll just uh, fly back a bit so you can see what we've done so far. Just that. Just make sure you're here. Okay? We have uh, three sets of these patterns where it's just uh, wool, concrete, wool, concrete, wool, concrete. Make sure you're right here. Okay? This is where you're at. All right, so now we're going to switch over to the white concrete and underneath this, underneath these two black concretes. Don't get it confused with the two that are down here. We're up here. So underneath these two black concretes, we're going to be adding four white concretes going down. So that's one, two, three, four. So it should look like this. And now starting from the bottom block on the right side, so starting from right here, we're going to be adding from here, two sets of twos going up on the right. So that's one, two, one, and one, two, two. Fly back a bit so you can see that it should look exactly like this. Go ahead and pause the video now if you need to, just to compare. Now, you're going to be switching back over to, uh, or I should say, you're just going to be continuing using the white, uh, white concrete. Now, with the white concrete, we're going to move over here to the right, just to these three black concretes. We're going to be adding one white concrete on top of it. So that's one. So it looks like that. And now once you've done that, you're going to switch back over to the light gray wool. And with the light gray wool, you're going to be filling in the remaining empty spaces that we left behind. All of these empty spaces right here. Fill that in with the light gray wool. So let's go ahead and fill it in with the light gray wool. Fill that right up. And then I'll fly back a bit. So you can see that it should look exactly like this. Go ahead and pause the video now if you need to, just to compare. All right, so we're going to go ahead and do a little more outlining before we call it. So let's go ahead and just put, put away the colors for now, and let's do a little more outlining. So switching over to the black concrete. Now with the black concrete, let's move up here. Now there's these two, uh, two blocks going up. We're going to work on the one that's on the right, this one right here, not the one that's on the left, but this one here to the right. Starting from the top block of these two, uh, we're going to switch, actually this, I guess it doesn't really matter, this one, uh, switch over to the placement block. You're just going to be adding a placement block in the center, in between these two. You'll see why, <laughs> it doesn't really matter. Okay, now that we have that little placement block there, now you're going to be switching over to the black concrete. Starting on top of the placement block, so starting from here. We're going to be adding three black concretes going diagonal up to the right. So that's one, two, and three. Let's get rid of those placements. Okay, so it should look like that. 
And you know, while we're here, let's go ahead and just quickly switch over to the light gray wool and just fill this in with light gray wool. Might as well. There you go. Light gray wool. Switch back over to the black concrete. Let's head back up here. Now from here, from this block, we're going to be placing five blocks going across on the upper level to the right. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Next, you're going to be placing one block going up on the right. That's one. And now from this one block, starting on top of this one block, so starting from right here on top of it, we're going to be adding eight blocks going to the left. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's eight blocks. And now from here, we're going to be placing one block going down to the left. That's one. And now from this one block, we're going to be placing three blocks going down on the left. That's one, two, three. Oops, three. There we go. <laughs> three. Once we've done that, what we're going to be doing next is we're going to be switching over to the the uh, white concrete. Or not the white concrete, sorry. Uh, no, yeah, the white concrete. <laughs> switching over to the white concrete. Uh, starting underneath these three black concretes, we're just going to be adding one white concrete underneath it. So that's one. And then once you've done that, we're going to move up to the right, going to this one black concrete. On the right side of it, we're going to be adding one white concrete. So that's one. And also underneath this uh, block, we're going to be adding one white concrete. So that's one. Once you've done that, you're going to go ahead and switch over to the light gray wool. And with the light gray wool, we're going to be filling in this empty space right here with the light gray wool. So just fill this in with the light gray wool. Okay, so now I'll fly back a bit. And you can see that it should look exactly like this. Go ahead and pause the video now if you need to, just to compare. So I'm going to go ahead and pause here and continue the Minecraft Pixel Art tutorial series for the Black Panther. Remember, if you become a channel member, you will gain early access to the other brand new pixel art tutorial parts that I'm working on. And of course, the best way to get into contact with me is through my Discord. And if you're a channel member, you get the channel member role within my Discord. Make sure to check out my social media on TikTok and Instagram. I'll leave links to those down below in the description as well. So with all that being said, make sure to stay tuned in for the next part of the Minecraft pixel art tutorial series for Black Panther. And make sure to stay tuned in for more Minecraft videos.